Second Hand Furnitures A few years ago, when I was working for a SME, our company was relocating. We had a storehouse and we are required to clear the backlogs completely before we can shift over. That night I decided to stay back and clear as much as I could, some of the projects had already been due for months. I was eager to prove my worth as I was the new replacement. As most of my colleagues had already left the office, my team leader came over and asked me if I would be joining him home. I told him that I would be staying up late as I needed to clear some stuff. He then gave me a strange look and as always, gave me his classic line, I'm speechless, he then smiled before saying goodbye and left. I was puzzled by his looks for a moment but soon I resumed my work. As I was alone in the office, the room was quite chilling and I zipped up my windbreaker. Hunger got to me as I haven't had dinner but that only motivated me to clear up as fast as I could. Suddenly I felt someone staring at me from my back. I could sense that the person was angry. Almost furious. I couldn't describe in words how that stare, felt, like, only that it was icy and piercing. I had goosebumps immediately and my hair stood. At the same time, I noticed that the air atmosphere around me was turning still, cold and damp. My body froze and I was occupied by fear. Slowly, I regained my senses. I forced myself to type randomly in order to calm myself down. I remembered that meeting room door, which was directly behind me, was left open and the room was covered in darkness. Trembling. I whispered, brother, I'm just trying to finish my work, relax okay? I could still feel the, presence, staring at me, I panicked. Suddenly, it came to my mind that I had a talisman. I reached for my pockets to check if it is still inside, only to realize that I had left it at home that very morning. The air around me felt heavier and I had this unnerving feeling that whatever was staring at me was slowly creeping forward towards me. In desperation, I started to chant every mantra that I could remember off the top of my head. I felt a slight relief as I could no longer sense the presence in the room. I quickly packed up and ran off. The next day I was purposely late, my team leader asked me if anything had happened yesterday. I told him what happened last night and he listened attentively. After I ended my story, he paused for a long moment before telling me that previously he had also encountered something strange in the office. He told me that there was an incident whereby he was the last person who was still in the office, while he was walking towards the pantry he saw a female walking towards him. Thinking that it could be a new colleague, he turned around to greet her, only to discover that there was no one else besides him. I shuddered, and decided to clear my work as fast as possible so that I don't have to be the last person to leave the office for the night. Later that day, my boss called for a meeting. Throughout the meeting I wasn't paying attention as I was in the meeting room and I remembered what happened yesterday. After the meeting had ended, I left in a hurry and when I got back to my desk, I realized that I had left my notebook inside the meeting room. As I walked into the room to retrieve my notebook, I felt the same presence and I could sense that it was coming from the two old chairs which was left behind by the previous tenant. They were old, handmade chairs that was painted over with cheap paint, one in green and the other red. Grabbing my notebook, I rushed out of the room. After that day for the following weeks, I made an attempt to leave early every day and to always wear my talisman to work. One day, I came to work and noticed that something felt different. I checked the meeting room and noticed that the chairs were gone. Eventually, I heard from the boss that the previous tenant had came to retrieve his belongings. However, I did not believe him. Since then, none of us had any encounters. 
Till date, I still refuse to buy or accept any second-hand furnitures.